Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll be showing you the new option of creating a new camp project in part mode. Today, Solid Camp allows you to create a new project and keep it as an internal SolidWorks part, and not only with the option of creating an external assembly. This is especially helpful for all those people who do not have the assembly option within SOLIDWORKS. The way this is done is very simple. We'll start a new SOLIDCAM project by clicking on New, Milling in this particular case. Immediately upon the window that opens, we have the option on top to create a CAM part either externally, the way we've done up until now, either as a PRT project or a PRZ project, or as an internal inside SOLIDWORKS part. If I were to click on internal and keep it as an internal part of SOLIDWORKS itself, you'll note that there's another window that opens up over here on the side, which shows us if there are any existing projects already on that part. Since I just started this part now, there aren't any, so this list is blank. I'll click on OK. I'll just continue creating my part as I've done before in any other project, creating my home position as shown over here. Everything stays the same. Also included is stock, of course. I'll create a stock around the part. I can even add, just as before, add box to CAD model. As shown over here I'll choose my target then I'll click on OK now I'll open the part again and we're going to start another project if I were to go to SolidCam now click on new milling and again choose the option of internal you'll note that it already shows us that we have run project there already and I'll click on OK again I'll do exactly what I did before create my home position, and this time I'll put it on the flip side of the part itself, click on OK, and accept this, just the way it is. And again, you can see we have the exact same tree before, and this is all stored within that one part. Now, if I were to close this part, go back into File, and click on Open this part over here, you'll note that it comes up now showing me both projects. I can choose at this point which one of these projects I want to open up. If I don't want to open up any of these projects, but just stay exactly in the part itself, I can just click on X and I'll just stay here inside SOLIDWORKS without opening up the SOLIDCAM project. But if I click on one of these and click on OK, it will open up the CAM part with that particular project. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.